Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Bush Gardens. And uh, as we're coming in from the tram station here, uh, off to our right here, we have the old fashioned kiosks, which every single one of them are out of order. And then we have over here, some hollow screen decorations. So if you're wondering, oh, and they even removed those old kiosks over there. So if you really want to have a kiosk that works, you got to try these. The only problem with these kiosks are that they don't recognize the old passes. Hello, Brian. I uh, wanted to cover something in the last video. You may have saw that we paused right about here. Well, the reason why we paused is we got some quick cues that we hide right here. So if you're ever on a Friday and if you're ever walking by that line there, go ahead and grab the quick cue. I wanted to address one of the comments that I got in the last video and it was about why don't you um, do something about the safety and you know all, all that kind of stuff. Well that's what we're going to address today. The safety on the rides. So first off I am actually wearing an approved wrist mount for filming these videos and we're gonna hopefully find something that shows you about where the um, broken phones are while I don't endorse bringing phones on a ride this one actually you can but I would not recommend using the phone on the ride. If you notice right here in front of the seat, there's a pouch, it's a zipper pouch where you can put your phone and any other loose articles on there. Well, no first ride on Iron Gwazi. It's going to have a delayed opening today. I'm sorry. So uh, at least they did show you though, um, the little safety feature that they do have so you can bring your phone up through the queue line, but when you get on Iron Gwazi, you should never, ever hold your phone in your hand. Put it in that zippered pocket. That's right, safety first. Just for you guys there that says I don't talk about safety enough, well, guess what? You're gonna hear a lot about it today. Okay, folks. Here is some inside information and it may be announced today, but um, rumor, this is a couple of times I've heard this already today. Rumor has it, Scorpion is the next ride to be going bye-bye. So, all this week, if you have a chance, get on Scorpion, give it its uh, last ride celebration, whatever you need to do. Get your POVs of it because honestly, with two people telling me the same thing, taking it with a less grain of salt than usual. A little bit of a preview for Hollow Screen. We saw this uh, last week. Looks like there are going to be a couple of photo opportunities here and here. Sawgrass Slaughter will be right there. Going to see if any of the murder bloops are out. Yeah, I think I might steal that one too. <laughs> There's the murder bloop. One of the best reasons for coming here to Bush Gardens is meeting up with our friends like Perry over here. How you doing, Perry? How's it going, Pa? Pretty good. 
I saw you taking pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we got pictures of the murder bloops. <laughs> uh, which one is this? That would be Tendai. Tendai, okay. Yeah. The other Pablo's are in there somewhere. No, we kind of got Pay close attention to the signs in front of the ride. Since Iron Wazi was not our first coaster for the day, we're here at Cheetah Hut. We're gonna make Cheetah Hut the first coaster of the day, which hopefully will give Iron Wazi time to warm up so it gets even faster. I'm sure I don't have to show you guys this again, but why not? Stranglewood Estate. Get ready to get your screams on. I have to say that is like one of the best houses here for Hello Scream. The other one I thought was a really good one was the Circus of Fear, uh, which is on the side of uh, Iron Gwazi there, which we can't see from the opening. But I'm gonna check out some of the other areas that they have for Hello Scream. Right after we get on Cobra's Curse. The other good thing about being here at Bush Gardens, the things we like is the ambassadors are very accommodating. We wanted a certain train on Cobra's Curse and we wanted to wait for it so that way we can hopefully get the best spin possible. And also because we have some of our best friends over here. Hi! The greatest ambassadors in the world. Yeah, one of the reasons why you should never use your phone to film uh, any on-ride things is because mainly the G-forces. It'll rip out the phone right out of your hand. I'm going to show you what I mean. Because... Hold on a second. almost lost the camera a couple of times there because of all the g-forces it just my hand just arm just couldn't hold it up so if you can imagine that and trying to hold on to a cell phone that's why people lose their cell phones on rides so don't take your cell phone to ride always use a approved chest or wrist mount we're hopping on Catch some good views off the sky ride, shall we? Stop it! Oh, there's a train going by. Toot 
toot toot. Toot toot goats train. Fun fact, that is a actual real live steam locomotive train. I see we have some animal keepers inside the habitat along with, ooh, there's a hippo over here on this side. Munching away on the hay. Not your best view there. <laughs> and while the train just left this station here, we hear it in the background. It's on the other side of the park almost. Over there in the uh, edge of Africa. From what I heard, the Beat the Falcon's Fury is running. And it's in operation today, too. Oh, meanwhile, I see a triple eight on the Serengeti Flyer. That's not good news. And also, we don't have Iron Gwazi running yet today. Ooh. Looks like the Serengeti Flyer is closed for the day. Because they got nobody up here redirecting traffic. <clears throat> and uh, yep, so I've been told now by numerous peoples that Scorpion will have its last day on Monday. So I think this is the last weekend we can uh, actually go on Scorpion. And so they're doing some more work over here on the elephant habitat. I did see a permit about something in this area here with the trees. They're, I guess, going to make it bigger or do some expansion of their habitat. And that area right there was in the prints. We're getting something done to it right there right where that big tree is oh now this is what i've been waiting for they did some landscaping over here oh yeah there we go there we go now that's what we we're looking for right there Yeah. So what can they do with this area here? Well, who knows. It's a nice open spot. Maybe they can leave it and put some animals in there. Yeah, right. Or something. But that, yeah, there we go. There's that net again. Just enough to cover uh, people from getting hit from sandals or flip-flops or crocs or something. Kumba, which is right here, is still under annual maintenance. So we won't be riding uh, Kumba today either. But we do have Scorpion right there. It does look like they're trying to upgrade Pantopia. And do I see people on Falcon's Fury? No. No. Yes. Uh, yes, I do. I see feet. Yay! Yeah, you know what we're going to have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> we need to get that final shot of the construction update for Phoenix Rising. And you know how we normally get those shots is from riding Falcon's Fury to the top. But now, now that Phoenix Rising is construction is stopped and we are uh, now actually, Hello. it's open. Hello. 
We still have to get that last final shot because the last shot that we got from Falcon Fury, there was still dirt all over the place. But now it's uh, now it's back. Hello. <laughs> we we have somebody stalking us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Pretty good. How you been? I've been all right. Yeah. Getting all around the park. Ooh. Some hollow scream stuff. I didn't even see this before. Oh. I heard him. You hear that? That sounds like Leo. Oh. Oh. oh if you look out there in the Serengeti, you see those boulders out there? Those are the white rhinos. The smaller of the boulders is the Aussie. The Aussie, by the way, is now two years old. Welcome to the checkpoint. I'm checking you on point. Enjoy the rest of your ride. Thank you. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I see six of them in there. Look at this cutie. There just appears to be one hippo here in the habitat. Up there. So I'm taking a wild guess and saying that that would be Moyo. Yeah. Check out the crocodile. <laughs> Just soaking in the water. Yeah, I, I think that's Moyo. He's a pretty big fella there. And usually when they only have the one in there, it's usually just the boy. And if they had two of them, that would be Kita and Devi. And uh, usually you can tell who's who by the little kink in the tail. Oh, look at that. We have Bubba, Jimmy, and Tank. Oh, there they go. You want to get them to the Hello. Hi there. And now we enter in the Las Vegas uh, Scream, uh, Las Vegas Scare Zone area. They took the doorknob off of uh, Gert's uh, room there. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want any more visitors. And uh, as we were on the sky ride, we did notice the Serengeti Flyer is down today. Would probably help if I actually check the app and find out what rides are actually closed today, but we can see it's barricaded. And our land manatees are getting uh, a little bit of an upgrade to their habitat so we won't see any of the land manatees looks like they're moving the dirt around i wonder what kind of scariness awaits us in Pantopia, besides the rides. So you guys know it's been 
quite a while. Uh, we're finally back on and you're going to get a nice view of Phoenix Rising. There it is. Okay, we're all done. We can get off now. No I'm kidding. Yeah, later on I was going to ask like, the head engineer, the one who helped open Phoenix and one of the people who are in the 19th. I'm going to ask them what they're going to do with that area. Hey, I hope it's not kitty rides. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because I know it's going to be over there where the boats are. That's really going to be. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, they've been, uh, they made a post out there that uh, the ride right behind us, Scorpion, will be closing down on September 2nd. Are you serious? Yep. Are you serious? Yeah. Yep. It's old. Uh, yeah, I knew that. I just... It's really old. It's over its time. Yeah, that's what Christian and I were talking about. Um, at Scorpion right behind us. Yeah, my, I'm here with my dad. We come like four times a year. Cause we're from Frail Oh, okay. So, uh, we're close to the And we heard that they were like, we're going to do something with Kumba. I don't know oh. if that was true. I don't know if that was true. Yeah, currently Kumba's under annual maintenance, yeah. but I think that's something about three years from now. Yeah. But yeah, they, they said uh, the next couple of rides that they're looking at is Scorpion and the Log Plume. Yeah. Dad is always, he's too scared this ride. Right. So he usually likes to ride Scorpion. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll be pretty upset at the news. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have to get a ride on Scorpion yeah, before we leave today. It's not my fear, but I think I'm going to have to go on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they finally opened Sky Ride. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I have a picture of a sign they put up a few years ago where it said they were opening summer of 2022. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that was like right after COVID hit. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. You got like they a lot of workers, to. and yeah. it's expensive. But we were hoping that um, Kumba would be open tonight. But I knew they were open or they were closed for maintenance. But because we're leaving tonight, oh, and oh no! Ride, so. uh. Well, there you guys have it. Phoenix Rising from Falcon's Fury, all complete. And it would have been nice if they had a train running, but. You guys driving or flying? Driving. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> About like 15 hours. Wow. Oh, there we go. What part of Philly? Uh, we're like a little bit outside of it. We're around like Westchester. Oh, my sister won't go there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're like, we're a little closer to Delco. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just found another Phoenix. At the painted camel. She says we're gonna collect all four of them. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so here's another Phoenix to add to our collection. And now we're gonna actually go ride the Phoenix. Rising. People were run wondering why we only have one train. Uh, do you see these brakes here? These brakes are not good enough to stop the train. To slow it down. I don't hear the sound anymore. Look what they did with the area. It looks pretty good. Now this is one ride supposedly you can bring your phone on because it doesn't have... Yeah, that net is close. It doesn't have as many G-forces as any other ride. Whoa. But it does... Well, it does have some G-forces. But supposedly you can hold on to a phone on this ride. Uh, but they put a net 
that up there so that way the phones and loose items doesn't hit the people on the sky ride yeah yeah this ride seems to be getting a little faster now and there was a little bit of a rattle but we're good so with the announcement first thing early this morning um, we are now here on Scorpion, getting one of the last rides in, well, next weekend we'll get our last ride in, but on September 2nd, she's closing for good. Bye bye! And here we go! go for a wild ride uh -huh. the oldest here in the park here we go they consider an overspeed on this it just skids right across the so did you feel the sting of the scorpion no nah, neither did I but if you really wanted to feel the sting of the scorpion you have one more week September 2nd is the day it's going down for good. Oh, wait, that's Labor Day. Oh, well, yeah, that's Labor Day. I have off of work, so we may be down here for Labor Day. Who knows? It might be a little bit crowded, so stay tuned. We'll find out. But we'll definitely catch you another ride on Scorpion next week, as long as it's still open. We got some work walls up over here by Pantopia Pizza. So, who knows what's going on behind those work walls? Looks like nothing. But yeah, Pantopia Pizza does not look like it's open today. Because they're getting some work done. Oh, some major work done. They opened up the concrete and everything over there. So right over here, right next to the Sky Ride, they're gonna have some cool stuff in there for Hollow Screen. Let's see if we can sneak a peek. I know we saw it over the Sky Ride. See what we can see in there. Looks like some good stuff. Are you ready to get scared? Are you ready to scream? It's hollow scream time. That Kumba is still closed for maintenance, but I heard it may be opening real soon like next couple of days, maybe Monday, who knows? But we still have this area here that is rumored to have the kitty rides put in place in this area. I don't know, but I think I see markers way out there, some, some utility markers. So 
so we got the rumor about scorpion in the morning and we had the announcement before lunch that yes it's definitely closing do you want to know about some of the other rumors i want to probably hold off on that but we'll give you one rumor uh, one little hint let's just say log flume stay tuned for more episodes and we'll find out what's going on with the log flume currently in Jangala and there's some more decorations here looks like they're doing some more stuff over here and of course we still have the work walls up over there and doesn't look like much has changed in that area oh look at this I think we caught one of them as they were climbing and that was it. We just have some stuff over here. We have lights up all over in the trees. Now the lights could be for Christmas Town or it could be for Hollow Scream. <laughs> but yeah, here's the log flume. And uh, rumor has it that it may be going next after Scorpion. But again, these are just rumors until an official announcement has been made by the park. So we're just going to take that with a grain of salt. So trust me guys, never bring the phones onto a roller coaster. Always use an approved chest or wrist mount and an action camera, but don't try to bring your phones onto the rides. There's plenty of POVs out there on YouTube. Just check out mine, for instance. It looks like some more is getting set up for the forgotten. Now, usually this is all a queue line here for the Forgotten right up there. And uh, over here, there's usually an entranceway for it, which they have it blocked off. Here at the Sheikr Splash Zone. And I noticed we have lights in the trees. More lights over here. I don't see any lights over there. I see they're putting some more stuff up over here. I think the Christmas lights were already there. Oh, looks like they got some more Christmas lights and they're on. They look like they're on, yeah. Yeah, the lights are on. Ooh, and we got a cashier's booth up here for some reason. Oh, okay, so yeah, if you wanted to buy the Christmas trees. <coughs> Yeah, so they, oh, look at this. We got this one here for $69.99. This one here for $59.99. Some smaller trees. A tree lot full of screams. Evergreen Acres, family owned Christmas trees since 1999. Fresh cut for a bloody Christmas. Oh, I like that. That's good. <laughs> That's good. 
So we're gonna have fun with a whole bunch of scare actors popping out of these trees. For a scary full time. Bring home holiday fear. Okay, trick or treat. You know, I wonder if this is the uh, little nightmares area. But I, I think this is pretty cute now. We got little houses. And a garage. A garage. <laughs> So this is cutely decorated. Yeah. Ooh, I see a nice apple pie. You want some apple pie, dear? Oh, that's a cute house. <laughs> oh, look at that, a nice... I like this house. I like this house a lot. Oh, now this is cute. With the spiders on the door? Yeah. Oh, you see what the uh, address is? <laughs> on the mailbox? Oh, so it's <laughs> Okay, might not be a good house. <laughs> Just to let you know, we haven't heard any rumors about anything here in Sesame Street and as you can see there Eric Rubber's still running and we of course have our pink chickens we can't we can't actually visit Bush Gardens without visiting our pink chickens now can we no no just like uh, Scorpion Kumba and the pink chickens and the giraffes, they're all staples of Bush Gardens. Unfortunately, one of the staples is going bye-bye. Scorpion. Yeah. So glad we got a ride on it, but it is old. Time to move on. We are having uh, some interesting white lights coming off of this tree. I don't know if that's for the scare zone or what, but yeah, I don't think there's a scare zone in this area here. It's uh, mainly for the brews and barbecue. And then we have our macaws over here. Hi there, sweeties. Oh, you trying to hide? Hello. Yeah, it looks like that one tried to hide on us. Now here in the festival walkway, I can see a little bit of it there. Ah, here. All set up for the kids for spectacular. Yeah. And now we're gonna go back to Iron Gwazi, which is still not operating yet. But, uh, we're gonna go there to meet up with our son because he starts work in a few minutes we have a, another scare zone right here and in the past it was always the junkyard but this year I think they're gonna give you a tribute to all the past years of hollow scream don't think we can see anything here. No. Not much. But if you want to see what's behind that wall, get your tickets for Hollow Scream. It's the only way to find out what's going on. Another wonderful day, except for one problem. Iron Gwazi's been down all day today. Ooh. I know, but 
we brought you a rumor that came out to being actual, real life trueness. The rumor of Scorpion, I mean, that was quick. From rumor to truth in one, in one hour, basically. Yeah. Uh, and then there are some other rumors that we got for you, so make sure uh, you hit that like button down there. And if you aren't, go ahead and subscribe. It, it, it's as easy as hitting that little red button down there. Right? Yep. Yeah. So, until the next time, we'll see you at the parks.